Greetings, everybody. Hello, hello. We have a fresh baptism on us this morning of the Holy Spirit. What is the Holy Spirit? The Holy Spirit is all truth. That is what the Holy Spirit is. Pure, holy truth. Love that. Um, we're born again each morning, guys. Okay, let's get right into it. This is the word. When the spirit of truth comes, he will guide you into all truth. Huh. Surprise, surprise. John 16, 13. Yeah, so today we're talking about the spirit of truth. Wow, how amazing is that? That God just downloads truth to his believers. And you know it in your heart. You're convicted of that truth. And there's just no doubt in your mind that you know God has downloaded this truth into you. The spirit of truth resides inside of us. And day by day, he's sculpting us, molding us into his image. And it's amazing. And all truth is something that, you know, doesn't obviously happen in a moment. Um, it is something that he, you know, refines us over time. And I just love that. I love that because that has been my journey. It hasn't been an overnight thing. I have had to learn some things the hard way. I've had to walk through a ton of pain and I've had to, uh, be disciplined by the Lord. He disciplines us because he loves us just like a loving father disciplines his child, you know, gently. It's a gentle discipline that um, is very effective. It's very effective. I have found it to be very effective. God knows how to discipline his children. Um, and uh, the other scripture that I have for today is heaven and earth shall pass away but my words shall not pass away. Luke 21, 33. So the word is eternal. The word became flesh. The word was here before time even began. How cosmic and awesome is that truth? <laughs> That's like, what? Yeah, truth um, God is, he encompasses, embodies, is all truth. That is what God is. He is pure truth and love and light and goodness. So, and compassion. Um, God is, um, perfect in all of his ways, perfect in all of his ways. And I'm just meditating on that this morning. I'm meditating on all truth and being perfect in all of his ways. He's just so reliable and he's so unchangeable. He just never changes. He's the same today, tomorrow, and forever. I love that about God because things were so unstable for me when I was growing up that I love knowing that God does not change. He cannot change. He is, you know, just, he just is the great I am, Abba, Father, Yahweh. And I have to be in awe of that truth, awe of the fact that he never changes and has always been the same. Um, it's pretty, it's pretty mind blowing. And he's infinite infinite, which of course our finite minds can't wrap, wrap our heads around infinity, but he is infinite and he's glorious and he's almighty. So meditating on all of these things today is just giving me a feeling of humility and trust in him and knowing that uh, all of my fear and all of my anguish and, you know, all of my anxiety, I can place all of those burdens onto him and that's where he wants them on him because he is made stronger in my weakness and he also wants us to share with our brothers and sisters what our struggles are 
He wants us to be honest with fellow Christians. He wants us to pick up the phone. He wants us to FaceTime our friends and be like, I'm struggling with this big time. And to be able to shed our tears with our fellow, you know, um, brothers and sisters in Christ. It's really an important part of the walk to be able to be authentic and sincere and real and um, remember that it helps other people to remember that they're not alone. So we're helping them when we come to them and say, I'm really in a lot of pain and I'm struggling with this and we allow ourselves to be open and vulnerable. We're helping somebody else to know like, wow, if they can do that, maybe I can do that too. So don't be afraid to call up somebody today and just say, here's what's going on with me because um, you're blessing them. You are completely blessing them. The final word I have for today is um, in John. <clears throat> and it's John, oh gosh, it's John something or another. I can't figure it out right now, sorry. Uh, Most assuredly, I say to you, whoever commits sin is a slave of sin. And a slave does not abide in the house forever but a son abides forever. Therefore, if the son makes you free, you shall be free indeed. So we are free in Christ Jesus, you guys. We are completely free. We do not need to be slaves to sin any longer. Yeah, we're going to make mistakes. Yeah, we're going to say things and go, oh, I shouldn't have said that. And yeah, we're going to do things that we feel shameful about. It's going to happen. But we are not slaves to sin anymore. The Bible says we are no longer slaves. So we are not captives. We are set free. You are set free today. I am set free today. Live in that truth Live in that truth. The bondage is cast out. The shackles are broken. The chains have been cut. You, my dear, are free. I am free. We are free and we are saved and we have salvation for eternity. And death is an illusion. And we cast Satan out today. Just cast him out. He has no business at all coming near us today. Get back. Get behind me. Say it. Get behind me, Satan. Bye-bye. You have no authority over me whatsoever. Jesus Christ is my Father, my Savior, my King. I claim him today and forevermore. Lord, I say a prayer for all of us today, Father God, Lord Jesus, that you would humble us, that you would help us see how desperate and wicked we truly are. And when I say wicked, I mean wicked. Yes, we are wicked because compared to your glory and your righteousness, we are wicked, Lord. Help us to humble ourselves enough to see our own wickedness, our own brokenness, our own desperation for a savior. We thank you, Father God, for bringing us into perfect alignment with you today, Lord, that you would help us to talk to you all day, to be in constant conversation with you today, Father God, that we would not put you in the back seat, Lord, but that we would put you in the driver's seat, Lord, that you would be up front today with us, Lord, that we would know that we have a caring, loving, adoring Father, that holds us in the palm of his hand. Lord, I pray that you would put a garland of love around each of our necks today, Lord, a fragrant garland of love, that we would just smell the fresh aroma of faith and peace and goodness today, Lord, that we would be able to know you and recognize you, and hear you, and respond to you, Lord. That we would know that we were fearfully made, that you made us, Lord. 
that you created us, God. That we have a creator, a designer, an architect that is super intelligence. You are intelligence itself. You embody it. You are it. You are the intelligent designer of the heavens and the earth. And we come to you. We come to your throne and we surrender and we give ourselves to you today, Father. All of us, not part of us. We crush every idol and leave it at dust at our feet, Lord. Leave it as dust. You are our number one. Nothing comes before you, Father. You are the way, the truth, and the life. We praise you. We worship you. We thank you, Father. We have a heart full of thanksgiving today. Thank you, Father, for giving us breath and life. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, amen.